Greetings and welcome to Eswatini Lifestyle. My name is Luga Magole and I will be making sure that you stay entertained tonight. So what we have for you tonight is that we are going to start off with the people that are actually anxious and thinking about purchasing a vehicle. So we just thought it might be nice for us to show you the type of cars that you might be interested in buying. And uh, we're just going to be going through a whole lot of cars just to show you which one is the is the one suited for you. So let's just uh, take it off to uh, Offset Auto and then we'll be showing you a lot more after that. <music> Eswatini so Lifestyle came all the way down to Offset Auto in Matapa to give you a guide on how to purchase your car. So we're here talking about cars, vehicles, automobiles, everything on wheels, but it's unfortunate that we don't have a Batmobile behind me because I would have been the first one to buy it. So now we're going to cross over to Sam who's going to be giving us a tour of how you could buy your own car. So we're going to be checking out a masculine car a feminine car and also a car in a budget so stick with me right here on offset auto and we're going to be showing you all those things that i just mentioned like i said ladies and gentlemen i'm going to be linking up with sam who's going to be giving us a tour right here in offset auto down here in matapa so this is sam right next to me how are you doing sir i'm okay thank you how are you doing sir it's really weird calling you sir I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. Sam. Okay, right. We are here at Offset Auto, and now um, we in the intro. I did say that we're going to be talking about um, the different types of cars that mm. um, at different sexes can actually purchase, and they can actually look good in them. So, in your own opinion, what would you say a feminine car is? Okay. Um, first, thank you for coming to Offset Auto. Thank you. Thank you. You everyone's welcome. Um, a, f a feminine car for me is more of a, a chic car, you know, yes sleek, but more chic, you know, soft on the wheel, soft on the suspension, very light on fuel, not that they don't have money, but <laughs> you don't understand what I mean. Girls have money these days. Bruh, <laughs> whole lots of money, mm -hmm. um, definitely lots of boot space, mm -hmm. um, and very easy to maintain as well, you know. Um, concerning your engine services, basically just knowing that um, it's, it's easy to sort out, there's not much complications about it and yeah, especially for the boot space, you know they want to keep all their heels yeah, there, yeah, yeah, their suitcase, <laughs> makeup kit, that's very important, yeah. <laughs> but well, yeah. Okay, okay, so for example that um, my sister or my mother or, or my lady mm. uh, is saying, yo, I'm, I'm going to come to offset. I want to purchase a, I want to purchase a vehicle yeah. and it's actually it's actually bad that you don't even have a Batmobile here because I would have been the first one to buy it <laughs> I, I would have bought it man I would have taken all my money I, I was going to buy it you know, know what I mean I know I know <laughs> <laughs> okay so now now she decides you know what um, I want to come and buy a car that will suit me as a, as, as a female which car would you direct them to buy all right if I were to direct them I'd obviously chuck them at either a Mazda or a VW, a Polo, or a Golf 6, which is you no know, a unisex car, yeah. you know, more, more, you more of a unisex car. But VW, yeah, VW, especially for, for ladies, is usually best, and Mazda. All right, can you, can you also break down the specs of the VW so that maybe if they're really interested in it, that actually know, which this is the type they want to buy because Sam explained, which this is why I should buy this car. All right. Okay, so right next to me, I have a VW Polo, mm -hmm. one liter, blue motion. One is, liter? Yeah, it's a one liter. Okay. Surprisingly enough, hey? Engines has probably the size of an A4 paper. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have this car next to me. All right, the specs of this car, very nice thing about it is, you know, external features. You know, you've got the 15 inch alloy wheels. It's bronze in color. Oh, I'm not color blind, but you know, you know what, I, th I think the ladies are going to see this color yeah. and they will know what color it is because today I was told that there's a color called nude and I don't, need, I don't even know what it looks like. I think it looks like, okay, anyways. Okay, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so then what we have here is a Polo 1 liter blue motion like I mentioned with a panoramic sunroof. Um, it's, it's, it's got um, DSG um, gearbox. It's very light, power steering, Bluetooth features, cotton, not leather inside. Um, lots, lots of boot space, and of course, it's very fuel efficient. It's got different driving modes as well for your economic sports and for your rough terrains as well. And yeah, I think 
that's just what I really like about this and what I prefer about it. Because even if you take a good look at it, it's got um, fog lights for whenever there's fog. You know those Manzini Mbabane nights yeah, or days when, yeah. you know, the rains are quite tough, you know. So you have your fog lights there. And as and if you can come this side more just, 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 to, get it, just to get a better view on the mirrors, on, on the mirrors you have your side or your rear view mirror okay. with your side indicator right, for for better right. visibility and so forth some of these cars they also come with day saving lights hey eh? okay yeah but it's just, it's just you know you, you know what though you know what though i think i think i i think i also like it so i mean feminine or not I, I would take this no lie yeah no lie mm -hmm. i would too <laughs> features inside you have bluetooth mm got the navigator okay. you know basically with the bluetooth you're able to answer phone calls play your okay. own music and so forth you have your own nice sound settings there and you have your navigator in there too mm -hmm. you know um, it's got park assist as well oh. so which is a very cool feature okay. you know and yeah i definitely would write this one too most definitely okay right, sam now we've seen the feminine one now we're gonna move on to the masculine one the, the whole muscle the guns. that's what i'm talking about no 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 not your guns <laughs> Like I promised you, now we're going to be moving to the masculine car and this is the car that Sam picked and uh, he's going to be telling us why he picked this car. Sam, why is this one? Why would you consider this one a masculine car? Alright Lunga, first and foremost we're in the BMW. 530 diesel. You, you got that. Power. Mm. 3 litre. Mm. It's a lot. So yeah, so this is the BMW 530D. Uh, it's a 2000 and 2000, it's a 360, so that's a 2000 and I forgot the year model, but yeah, it's an E60. Nonetheless, I consider this one a more masculine car because of its body size, um, it's the engine power, and those are the two main things that, that make it uh, a more um, masculine car. The exterior also just, just tells you more about why and it, it is um, a masculine car. Okay, so why would this one be different from the regular BMW? What what makes this one so special? It's the power. Besides, five series. Everyone everyone knows how special that car is. I mean, BMW once gave us uh, the, the one of the most um, powerful cars in the M5. You know, so the five series has a very special um, place in most males' hearts. You know, so the BMW then the, then also then gives out that 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 sense mm -hmm. to people. Okay. Yeah. So this specific car, for that spacious, you know, it's got also that executive look. Without saying there's no, you know, um, feminine executives, but it's got that, you know, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm I'm the mayor of Manzini <laughs> <laughs> type of vibe. You know. Yeah. 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 All right. Okay. So would you also tell ladies to buy? Because I know for sure. I, can, I don't know if I'm supposed to say this, but I know that Lindy, my co-presenter, will be very happy with this car. So would you also encourage ladies to also buy this type of car? I sure would. I sure would. So long as you can handle it. Because uh, truth be told, you know, like my sister's a great driver. She can easily handle this. But of course, there's some women who can't, and there's some women who can. In the same way that there's men who can't handle such cars, you know. Sure. Some you know some are just way too powerful for some people. Okay. You know you've got the VW Golf 5 R32 2007 model, which is a 3.2 liters. You know, yeah. so that's that's very powerful for some people. You know, just accelerate, just a bit and you're gone. You're gone, gone. You know, yeah. So I would encourage women to buy it because hey, we're also pushing gender equality. Hey, yeah. 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 All right then. I think uh, we've uh, had a view of the car. So now, lastly, uh, we're going to be going to uh, a cost-efficient car right now. A, a, a car that you can work on on a tight budget. Uh, we're not encouraging that you should, ha you should have a tight budget. You should, you should have a free budget. You know <laughs> what I mean? Just express yourself. Go and buy that beautiful car. So now we're going to move in into a cost-efficient car. Okay, so now we are on our last car and our last car, we call it the budget car. And yes, it is Matapa, so you are expecting to hear those noises. Don't worry about it. We'll sort it out. Anyway, so now moving on, Sam, what would you call this car a budget car? And what is the car that you call the budget car? All right, first of all, Lunga, this is a Mazda 2. It's a 1.3 litre. 
and it's quite affordable to buy. Yeah. It's, it's very affordable to buy. Yeah. I mean, yeah. if you move around to other land, you might see that quite a lot of people own this car, right? We, can, we can't say the price, but it's very affordable. Yeah. It's very affordable. Okay, mm. so this is a 1.3 litre, mm -hmm. very good in fuel. Yeah. As you can see, very nice features. Black in colour, mm -hmm. and it's got fog lights. Mm -hmm. Inside, it's got white cotton seats, mm -hmm. um, automatic gearbox. And yeah, that's just about what you can get on budget. Boot space is not so much, but it's enough for one to be able to yeah. move around. And it's mm. actually more unisex than, than many cars. Okay, so many people when they buy cars, usually they don't just buy a car that they can afford. They, can, they also buy a car that they can maintain. So is it easy to maintain this car? Very easy to maintain this car. You know, even a service kit is quite affordable okay. as well. Dutch you spend more than 600 bucks on a service kit for this wow. one. Exclusive of labor, of course, but you know, yeah, it's it's very affordable maintenance wise as well. Now I'm thinking about my my um, maintain maintenance and um, fixing my car up. It's it's hell, but I think maybe I could just try to move on this one. All right, Sam, um, thank you for your time and thank you for uh, giving us the tour, a wonderful tour of Offset and giving us all these type of cars that people can buy. And we hope that maybe one day when we come back, I'm gonna come back with that, you know, a little sum sum. I do hope so. I hope that woman behind the camera is going to come with money too. <laughs> yeah, she says she's going to come with money, so that's good. All right. All right, thank you for your time, man. Ladies and gentlemen, that's what we have for you from Offset. She's right here in my top five, right behind the Puma garage. So if you want to buy your car, the affordable ones, the nice ones, the feminine ones, masculine ones, you can just come down here and get yourself it's a cool, nice whip. So that's what we have for you from Offset, a certain lifestyle. Running, running for you every day and night. I'm running, running for you. Gotta move, don't want no ride. So warm me up, cause I know the world is at my feet, yeah. So take me higher, baby. Let's go and hit the streets, yeah. Okay, now we're going to move right on to fashion and with fashion comes the person that's going to be telling us more about fashion and we got none other than the beautiful Belinda Chester who's going to be taking us through to what to wear during winter and how to actually stay dripping throughout the whole season. So let's check it out. With winter comes fashion and with every other season, you know cinema fashion trends are corner. So as a sort of lifestyle, we thought it would be nice to treat you on what to wear in winter. So we've got none other than Belinda Chester who's going to be showing us on how to look stylish in this winter. So I'm actually outside of her driveway. So now I'm just going to knock in and see if she's home. I'm hoping that she's home. And after that, we're going to be showing you as, as a, a certain sort of lifestyle of yours what you can rock this winter. Hello. Hey. Hi, how are you? What do you do? Oh, okay. <laughs> thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> welcome. Oh, thank you. Welcome. Would you like some juice? Yeah. Okay. It was good to be here. It was for TV, I had to sound strong. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, <laughs> I don't drink strong stuff. Okay, I'm a very good girl. I'm glad to hear that. Mm -hmm. roses. Thank Who's you. Who's the man that gave that, that these roses? I buy myself my roses. Really? Yes. You love that man. I am not lying to you. Yeah, I'm sure. Would you like That's to a... come sit on the couch? I'd love to. Okay. <laughs> I buy my own roses. You're lying to me. Like I said, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be in the house of Belinda Chester and we're going to be talking about pretty much fashion. But before we talk about fashion, Belinda, mm -hmm. how are you doing? Okay, thank you. How are you? I am well. I am well. Okay. Uh -huh. Um, I just wanted to know, um, there's a video that surfaced and um, a lot of people were talking about it 
And uh, because the people were talking about it, I had to see it myself. Okay, there's a lot of videos out there. Which one is it? I don't think it's the one that you're thinking <laughs> about. I don't think those are out. Uh -huh. They can't be out. Anyway, I'm just talking about the video that you took. Um, you were somewhere in the mountains and stuff. Oh. So what was that video okay. about? I was doing a photo shoot on my birthday. I worked with Daniel Shack, amazing photographer. So we we're just taking a few snaps and then we decided let's also make some video content because you know it's the video content generation now. Is it isn't it weird though that the video made more noise than the pictures? How is that weird? <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm because th we're thinking that you're doing you were actually doing a photo shoot, uh -huh. not a video shoot. And then suddenly the video, because he just thought of, you know what, it was a byproduct thingy. Yeah. But then it became bigger. I think what fascinated people was seeing me in motion. Wow. <laughs> okay. It, okay. It says more than just a still, you know. Okay. Yeah. All right. Also, I believe that you were somewhere, somehow, in the music industry. Ooh. How's that been going? <laughs> because the last time we actually saw you perform, it was um, when uh, there was a celebration of um, there was a one man show. Ah, uh, Mr. Soul Show. Mr. Soul Show, yeah, and you were there was... performing, and I think that, I think that was the last time we saw you performing. That's, so what, what, what's been happening since then? That's, that's because that was the last time I performed. Oh. I don't know. I don't think I've ever been completely dedicated to the music part. You know, I just show up when people are like, hey, Belinda, can we work on this? And I'm like, yeah, sure, because I enjoy doing it. But I haven't really invested like a lot of time into it. Mm. Mm. Okay. Do you know, at some point I even took out like a single. Is it? Yeah, I did. <laughs> How come we never got a music video for that single? I don't know. I don't know. I was just like, oh, here's a single. And then I was like, out, out, out. But have you thought about like, pursuing and going forward with the music? Ooh, I think about it. And my thing is that I want to have like a full on plan, like a marketing strategy, a team and all of that. And right now I don't have that. And mm -hmm. I don't want to go make music and then release it on SoundCloud and yeah. then then what you know i want to have like a business plan for it so i was like the time will come okay. if i decide to go back to it okay no if ever if, if you need a manager you should i should call, call you call up the ah, boy man call cool. up the boy uh, cool. manage you and then make you a superstar you know what I mean? mm -hmm. okay now so let's get to the crux of why we're actually here yeah. we're here to talk about fashion but before we talk about everything that pertains fashion, I just want to understand, in your own opinion, why would it, would you think it is important for a person to look good, even in winter or in any other season? Yes. Why would you Why do you think that would be important for a person? I don't know. I think looking good is very important. <laughs> I think it's just very important because the first thing that people see when they meet you is mm. you, the physical you, how you mm -hmm. look. So that should always be on point because that's always your first impression. Okay. So for me, it's always like, just look good all the time. All right. Mm. Okay, so uh, are you going to... Even in winter. Even in winter, <laughs> definitely. Even if it's cold, you got to make sure that trip is forever, right? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know, it's cold, but... <laughs> I, I was like, no, I have to drip. Mm. It's important. It's, it's important. very important. Okay, so I, I remember the last time um, I actually did, um, I spoke to someone about fashion actually told me that i was looking rather terrible do you think i look terrible in what i wore today i don't think you look terrible i don't look terrible i, don't. I, I don't think look you terrible. know i don't know i think there's something about black on men it, it just always works thank you mm. that's what i've been trying to tell human beings about black mm. but they do not understand black on men it just works you can throw it on whatever as long as you're in black <laughs> i actually feel better now okay so now <laughs> Um, I think I think it's the right time for even the viewers to actually get a glimpse of what they should expect to be wearing mm -hmm. when it comes to this type of season. Okay. So I'm going to just allow you to shimmy through and then uh, show us your first look of what you think would be great to rock this winter. Okay, let's go through my wardrobe. All right, let's get it. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
So this is an outfit that I would wear to two different places. First place is I would definitely wear this at work. It's professional but it's very warm at the same time and it looks it's, it looks quite cute, you know. <laughs> and then another place where I would wear it is at an event but not just any event. I would wear this at like a um, garden party, something that's during daytime and you know casual sexy kind of outfit i absolutely love this i love the pants these are made from a very very warm fabric so they're perfect for winter i love this shirt it's very warm here and then out here you can just let loose and it looks so cute if you can't tell and then i just have nice heels on so this is a complete outfit you can wear it at work you can wear it to a daytime event when it's just a little bit chilly so you look nice a little bit professional but still cute so for me my definition of sexy is being confident in what I'm wearing. As long as I feel confident in what I'm wearing, I'm sexy. Okay, so first of all, drip is forever. I know a lot of guys are always asking girls, how do you feel warm wearing shorts in winter so here's the thing us women we have superpowers and our clothes our our legs they just don't feel cold so one other thing that people struggle with is having color in winter you know it's very hard to look colorful in winter so here's the tip have something that's like a lightish tone or white i have a powder pink and I have an orange. Don't go too crazy with it, have green and orange and all of that. Just find a white color, something that's powderish pink, and then get one color that's going to pop. And that's how you keep the colors popping. <laughs> So, just a moment of silence for this outfit. That should be enough. After a long week at work of being professional and all of that, over the weekend I like to switch it up just a little bit. And a lot of people are like, so what do we do in winter? Do we read the dresses? No, we do not get rid of the dresses. The dresses are very important. What you do, ladies, listen to me very carefully, is you get yourself a nice pair of boots. It's very simple. You just get yourself a nice pair of boots and your legs will be warm and you're sorted out. And then you put on that nice little number and voila, magic. So this is it. This is what I'm going to be closing this episode with, this cute little outfit this is what i look like over the weekend it's a very different look from what i look like during the week so still the same person don't be shocked thank you so much as with the lifestyle for coming into my home going through my closet and allowing me to share what's trending this winter thank you for trusting my opinion on what's trending this winter and yeah see you guys <laughs>